Welcome back to the Ancestral Findings Podcast. Today, let's discover the invaluable insights census records from 1790 to 1950 offer genealogists and learn how to navigate, interpret, and incorporate them into your family history research. The journey to uncover our ancestors' lives often begins with the countless paper trails they've left behind. Among these, census records stand out as one of the most valuable resources for genealogists. Covering the span from 1790 to 1950, these records offer glimpses into the past that help us paint a clearer picture of our forebearers' worlds. Why Census Records Matter A census is a governmental record of the population at a particular time. These records typically include details such as names, ages, birthplaces, occupations, and more. For a genealogist, they serve as bridges to connect various dots in a family tree. Additionally, they help confirm theories or suspicions about family links, residences, or migrations. Since 1790, the U.S. federal government has conducted a census every 10 years. While each iteration contains unique attributes reflecting its era, they all provide insights into family structures, socioeconomic statuses, and the cultural milieu of their times. Navigating Census Records While it may sound straightforward, navigating through almost two centuries of census data can be daunting. Here's a brief overview of what to expect from each era. 1790 to 1840. In these earliest censuses, the records only list the head of the household's name. However, they provide counts of individuals living in the household, segmented by age group, gender, and other categories, like free white males, free white females, other free persons, and slaves. 1850 to 1930. Starting in 1850, census records began to include the names of all individuals in the household, not just the head. They also began to capture more detailed information about birthplaces, marital status, and occupations. 1940. This particular year brought forth more detail about the respondents' lives, including their residence in 1935 and the highest educational grade achieved. 1950. The 1950 census records were released to the public in 2022. These records offer even richer insights into mid-20th century American life. Interpreting the data. As fascinating as raw data can be, it's the interpretation that provides valuable stories and insights. Consider these techniques. 1. Track migrations. By following a family or individual through consecutive census records, you can discern migration patterns, whether across states or towns. 2. Observe household changes. The addition or disappearance of family members over the decades can indicate births, deaths, marriages, or moves. 3. Economic and social status. Changes in occupations, property ownership, and education levels can hint at the socioeconomic journey of your ancestors. Challenges and Limitations As with any historical record, census data has its challenges. Misspellings and inaccuracies. Enumerators, or those who recorded the census, sometimes misheard names or made mistakes in recording. Missing records. Some census data has been lost or damaged over time, Notably, most of the 1890 U.S. federal census was destroyed in a fire. Cultural and racial bias. Early censuses particularly reflected the cultural biases and racial classifications of their times. This is evident in how they categorized individuals by race or ethnicity. Incorporating census data into your research. 1. Cross-reference with other sources. Always use census data in conjunction with other records, like birth or death certificates, to validate findings. 2. Collaborate with other genealogists. Sharing insights or ambiguities with others can provide clarity or lead to new avenues of exploration. 
Three, stay organized. As you navigate through the years, maintaining a systematic approach can help prevent overlooking crucial details. Census records from 1790 to 1950 are indispensable tools in the genealogist's kit. They not only illuminate our ancestors' lives, but also offer context for the times they lived in. With patience, persistence, and a touch of detective work, these records can reveal family histories waiting to be told. Hey, thank you for joining us today on the Ancestral Findings Podcast. For additional resources and exclusive treats, visit ancestralfindings.com. You can grab a free genealogy ebook, request a free genealogy lookup, and even participate in our weekly historical postcard giveaway. It's a treasure trove for every family history enthusiast. Your support by listening to the podcast genuinely means the world to me. If you want to support us in more ways, consider supporting us on Patreon or PayPal. Every contribution aids in delivering valuable content and continuing our free genealogy lookup service. From all of us at Ancestral Findings, thank you for being an integral part of our family history community since 1995. I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, happy searching.